Good morning. I'm Casey reporting for Casey Collections. It's Saturday morning. It's November 4th and it's just a beautiful morning in here in our little town of Buchanan, Virginia. And we'd love to have you out and we'll take you in where it's a little warmer. You know, it's about 32 degrees here, a little bit frosty. And you know, it's beginning to feel a lot like winter. And of course, tonight we'll turn our clocks back and we all know that we are definitely not far from Thanksgiving and certainly not far from Christmas, 51 days until Christmas, if you can believe that. What's well, been a wild and wacky week, right? Hey, welcome to planet Earth. And yesterday we had, and I'll get to, um, you're not going to believe this. The, it's a surprise to us, too, in just a moment. So we'll definitely want to stick stick on to grab all that. Yesterday was a doozy of a day, and all things happened for a reason, and ultimately all worked out okay. But we had heat pump issues as we walked in yesterday morning, uh, a little more advanced than heat pump issues um, that were a bit unsettling, all as well. And certainly um, by about 6 o'clock, we'd had the heating technician in. So big thanks to our uh, heating company that always makes sure that they come and get us when we have these little emergencies that crop up. In addition to that, yesterday afternoon was full of a little bit of drama as our internet, as Chantel had some work scheduled in our area unbeknownst to us and our internet was going up and down. And then, of course, the other thing about this time of the year is I always like to get a pulse maybe the night before to see, you know, how the staffing is. And then ultimately, um, sometimes we have people that are tentative and then they're able to work and we're just grateful when they can work. But ultimately, to make sure everyone is all healthy before we do anything. So I got to tell you, this is a surprise to me, too. After all of those variables, I had to get in this morning and make sure that, of course, the internet was up, that the heating was working without any bad smells, and we've uh, made some of the senior team and I've made a decision. So guess what? Today is Super Saturday. We've got enough staffing, again, confirmed late last night. We've got 10% off of everything, including Amish furniture. That does exclude our frame prints and our round luminara. Our square luminara, we're going to include. I absolutely love those, um, but they just haven't been the hit of the party. So take a look at those for sure. I don't know why, but they are a definite great addition to centerpieces. We are fully locked and loaded, I'll tell you that. We are locked and loaded on all things Christmas, all things every day that I can think to buy that I can find, and the store is full, and we are ready for you. So again, you heard there just all of the superlatives um, related to why the sale didn't get announced sooner and how it's cropped up overnight, and yeah, there you go. So sometimes the best things in life, they do come as surprises. As we walk along here, I want to back up and show you the square luminaire. We don't have them burning anymore, but you can see just how beautiful they are. It makes a statement, and that's why we brought those in. So for this weekend, meaning for this Saturday, it's a great time to go ahead and get those and have them 10% off. 10% off of everything, including furniture. It's, I could only say grace over one day at a time. I'll tell you that for sure. So it's for today. We are actually open now. I said, we're going to do this. You know, we're giving people such late notice. If they're on their way wherever to have breakfast or whatever the case may be, they might want to run in. So we're actually open. We're always here anyway. We've got new displays. You can see that we've extended our pet display all the way around. We've also worked to improve our bathroom display. Here's Pet right here as well. But our bathroom display, we have, you can see the smaller trash bins. And again, it's 10% off of everything, including furniture, excluding frame prints and round luminaire. If I haven't said that, I'm kind of running on adrenaline this morning. But shower curtains all through here. You can see we've got our bathroom over the toilet cabinets in place. We're dropping down one of the Abilene Star shower curtains. Remember, lots of Abilene Stars discontinued. If you're looking for a fall flag or one to put up for next year, grab them. They're marked down to $7.99. You can also see we are restocked on bathroom prints, and I've got some exciting bathroom prints in the pipeline that will be coming in. The whole concept of the animals in the tub is something else. 
also broke out this showboat. I debated about buying this myself, so I've been holding on to it for weeks. But it is Mabry Mill. It's in um, an antique leather liner, a brown leather liner. And it does have the linen liner, brown frame linen liner. So that one is definitely a showboat. You can see some of our cardinal dishes displayed over here. Swinging it around just a little bit, we dropped farm over to this side. You can see with lots of trash cans. So again, I think we're fully stocked. We're on the mark for you to come in and get whatever you need. We have enough staffing for today. It's a surprise of a sale if you missed the top of the live. We not only had heat pump issues that lasted all day yesterday, um, and now they were resolved as of like 6 o'clock last night, but we also had intermittent internet issues um, due to a Chantel uh, unscheduled maintenance thing that they had to do. So this morning is when I said, okay, well, we confirmed we have enough people. Check. We have heat. Check. We have internet. Check. And what a way to have to run a business, right? But it's the times that we live in. Um, and there we go. So we're grateful for all of you all. We're grateful to, to be 51 days out until Christmas. And, you know, that's kind of how it is. I did see a friend's Facebook post this morning. And, you know, I just want to elaborate a little bit. And I know before I had a retail shop, I was always disgusted when I would go into stores or even the TV and they were pushing seasons way ahead of time. And pushing them way ahead of time, you know, I understand that, you know, there's um, Veterans Day. I understand that, you know, of course, there's Thanksgiving and then there's Christmas. And we want to take them all in separately. Uh, and I understand that very much. And I was always very frustrated when Christmas was hardly over and stores were pushing out Valentine's Day product and, and all of that. And I got so irritated by it. But unfortunately, at that time, I didn't have a store. So I didn't understand that all of that is necessary to be able to get the product out there for consumers to see it. Because if you don't, the next person is. And for us, it's a lot about staffing, being able to get it out way ahead of time so that it's able to be processed and displayed and, and taken care of. So, um, you know, I just responded to my friend and I said, I totally understand where you're coming from. But before I had a retail store, now it's necessary for survival. So, you know, just bear that in mind if you're kind of of that mentality of like, you know, being all irritated because stores have things out so early, it's just necessary to survive. You know, the early bird gets the worm and it's not about greed. It's about, hey, we got to get it out. We got to be able to to show it to people so they can buy it or at least say, hey, we're going to come back and get it when we need that. So we're just grateful to be uh, winding down. Certainly 2023, a lot faster than than I wanted to. And what that means is the year's flown by. So fl flying by 51 days until Christmas, we are restocked on iron. Notice that there's multiple ways to display it. And I might add as well, the centerpiece queen is in the house today. So it's a great day to come out. She's going to make a lot of these look better. And it's a great day as a surprise to us, too. Again, we are open already. I said just open the doors at 8. You know, we're here. I'm doing a live. So we are open. 10% off of everything, including furniture, excludes frame prints and um, rail luminera. We do have some of our Halloween decor marked 50% off. So color ticket prices are the lowest price. No double dip in there. Sealy. Wow, that's really all I can say. This Sealy bedroom furniture has been a huge hit. And we are scrambling, and so is our maker, to continue to backfill. So just talk to us if you have an interest in the furniture. I can tell you that I have um, a six-drawer dresser coming. I can tell you I have a nightstand coming, another queen bed coming. This queen bed and this dresser are sold. He is backpedaling, backfilling as soon as possible, filling for me as quickly as he can related to the king bed because our king bed is display only. But again, we're backfilling as quickly as we possibly can. So if Sealy is on your list, just talk to us and we'll see what we can do to be able to get things through a bit quicker. We are still quoting three months because we haven't seen the pattern change enough 
to say that it's less than that. However, I will say that there are things coming back sooner. We can't guarantee it. But if there's a particular situation, like with Sealy, it may be that, you know, I can wave a little bit of a wand. That They seem a little bit open um, to discussion about, hey, I'm just, I'm desperate. So if you find yourself that way and you really want our furniture in the three months, it's just a, a no-go for you. I can see what I can do. I can't play many of those cards, but I do know what I have in the pipeline. So the other thing that's starting to happen here quite a bit, because I think we're all just tired of waiting, right? But we have to remember, furniture is made specifically for you. Um, but a lot of people are just kind of fed up with all that. But remember, real wood, real Amish furniture, you know, real things, real good things are worth the wait. Uh, but what I am, what is happening with us right now is our furniture in the pipeline. People are talking to us and it's selling before it gets here. So please let us know if there are pieces that you are looking for, because a lot of our stock furniture that's coming is already sold when it gets here. So just so you're clear on, you know, hey, maybe not as much stock's coming in. You're going to start to see the trend a little bit that, yeah, it did come in. This was a stock piece, and I'll try to point that out, but now it's sold. Our Sealy Armoire is an example of that. You know, we had one coming in for stock. The person that bought the bed and all that, they wanted the armoire as well. So they get our stock piece. So, you know, I called panicked and I said, oh my gosh, you know, Sealy, got to have it, got to have it. Is there any way you can do this for me? So we do, and again, the ability to do that generally does not exist in my world um, in dealing with the Amish, okay? So I was able to kind of cry a little bit there, and we do have another Sealy. So...